Picture this. You walk into the first class of your college career, excited and nervous, and as you walk in, you're met with a sea of white males, with a handful of females, and an even smaller handful of women of color. Your excitement dwindles down into a feeling of despair, and you wonder if you belong here. This was my first classroom experience. I was then shortly met with another hurdle as I entered my chemistry lab, which was my first lab outside of high school. I was once again in a room full of people that were majority males. The feeling of anxiousness rose as I was paired with a male who seemed to know everything. When the first lab began, it was nothing more than a review of the very basics of measurements that were commonly going to be used. I took out my standard 12-inch ruler and was immediately told, no, that's not how you do it. Let me show you the correct way. I stood there dumbfounded as I had learned how to use a ruler when I was in elementary school. I was quickly snapped into a harsh reality, a reality that many women, especially women of color, out there have to face when they go into fields dominated by males. However, people like Sarah Weisberg, Antoinette Clemson, and Dr. Janet Nye have given the opportunity to many women who traditionally wouldn't have been given these chances. Sarah Weisberg has worked with BioBus, where she has helped underrepresented groups be able to have the opportunity to work and see what a scientist would do. Dr. Weisberg allows these youths to be picture themselves as scientists and not to accept any limitations on their capabilities. There she met Brianna Brooks and Mariah King and Raisa Khan, who have been with her and have become amazing young scientists themselves. Together, we all studied tiny fish with barely visible eggs and larvae. We used DNA tools to help answer research questions unanswerable with traditional methods, get our hands on adult fishes to dissect them and understand their place in the food webs, and all together contribute to the big picture goals, which are to understand how climate change is impacting our local fish species, from millimeter-wide eggs and embryos to edible-sized adults, and what these impacts mean for suitable fishing and for future generations. Working alongside Antoinette Clemson with the Sea Grant, I was able to make connections with communities and appreciate the importance of communicating science to people with different backgrounds. Jimena Perez Viscasillas invited me to join her at the Latino Conservation Week at Sunken Meadow State Park, where I was not only able to share what work the Sea Grant as well as I have been working on, but also get to connect with my heritage and my people. What the world has taught me is that women lose a sense of purpose when we are made to seem like we are not good enough. However, by having the opportunity to work with incredibly smart and powerful women, it has given me a chance to have role models that resemble who I am. They have allowed me to believe in myself and show that I am more than capable of continuing being in the fields of research in my future.